everyone. So today we're going to talk about a proper way of holding the bow. Uh, now, holding the bow in the right way takes a little bit of effort. All right, so let's start. So um, each bow has the frog, okay? So you're going to put your two middle fingers right on the frog. So these two fingers should be somewhere in this area. Um, when you turn the bow this way, uh, you can see like the end of the frock is right here and then beginning of the leather grip So you're gonna put your thumb right in between and make sure that your thumb is um, You're gonna press your thumb uh, right by the nail this way It will force your thumb to bend this finger has to be always always bent and as you go down the bow You will slightly get a little bit flexible, but you never ever wants to do this um, all right, so you want to make sure that you keep your thumb nice and curved most of the time. The curve may vary a little bit from this to maybe this as you go towards the tip, but again, never goes this way, okay? So this is uh, the first thing, and this probably this finger is the most difficult to uh, keep it on. So thumbs on, two middle fingers are covering the frog. Your first finger is the one that it's uh, mainly responsible for the sound. So you wanna make sure uh, that this finger is pretty much like laying down on the bow stick. And um, the bow stick runs between uh, the first and the second joint. So this is the place where I pretty much rest my, um, my first finger. I've seen students doing this. Please don't. <laughs> Okay, so you need to rest not even here on the tip. It's a little bit further down, okay? And um, there's many way of holding a bow. You know, some people hold the first finger closer to the to the rest, um, but most, most of the violinists these days are holding it separately to give us a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more pressure eventually on the bow as you play. Now, the little finger has to stay on top. It's not staying on the bow screw, it's staying right on top, uh, pretty much next to the, the ring finger, okay? And that looks like so, okay? Here's from this position. Okay, make sure again, your thumb is nice and curved. So this is how my hand looks from this position. All right, and as you can see, my thumb is nicely curved, all right? And my hand is nice and rounded. You do not want to do this with your hand. Okay, see so what's happening to the thumb. You want to keep it down so your hand is slight. You don't want to keep it flat as well. It's nice and rounded. Okay, here's another view. Okay, so again, the first finger is going to give me a lot of, you know, I can, the first finger is responsible for the sound, so eventually you will press it down as you play. These two fingers, again, all of these three are very flexible because they are just here to support uh, the bow. Um, the pinky is slightly balancing the bow between uh, a thumb, okay? So, but the two most important fingers is really my first and the thumb. Those are the two fingers that you need to, um, you know, make sure that they are on the right place, okay? The rest will kind of line up right here, so. Also, try not to do this. I have seen lots of people doing that, so no. That's the way, okay? And you can do those exercises that you use your left hand to grab the stick, you relax your hand, all right? Shake a little bit and try to grab it as quickly as possible. Also, make sure that your hand does not go straight down. You wanna turn your hand towards the left because this is how you play, okay? So, not straight down, but towards the left. So, automatically, you're letting your uh, first finger to touch the stick right here, not straight, but on the side, okay? Because this is how you bow eventually, all right? All right, guys, I hope it helps. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!